Aloha friends and happy holidays, mela kaliki maka and all the good things. Um, it's Kaylee Bird, glad to have you back in my little lanai on my little bungalow studio. So I know I hate to rub it in, but it is the middle of December and I'm still able to wear shorts. Yeah, it's pretty much paradise, but uh, it is getting a little chilly out here. Hence my thick necklace. Yes, this is, this is what I need to wear to stay warm out here. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi and let you guys know that I am taking a little break this week and next week as I'm sure most of you are and I think a lot of other YouTubers are. You know how it is, it's the end of the year, we got a million things going on, especially for us artists. We have, I have commissions and stuff like that to work on and so um, I've got uh, about four or five videos that are all like half made and I've got little pieces that I need to do for each of them so I'm like, you know what? I want to start off 2019 with a bang with some awesome videos. So I'm going to take this next few weeks and just kind of get all of these finished up and polished and looking so good so I can bring you all the good artsy juju in 2019. Um, but I don't want to leave you hanging because you probably have some free time on your hands, which oh, what a luxury. So if you do, I just wanted to mention a few videos that I've made recently that I think were especially good and that if you haven't seen yet, I think you should definitely check out. Um, the most recent one I just put out last week was oil painting for beginners. Now, I got this specifically requested just a few weeks ago, but I've also had a few other people say like, what do I need to get started in that kind of thing? And this video, I'm, I'm really proud of because I've been painting for so long, I've been oil painting for so long, that it kind of is hard to go back to the beginning sometimes and being like, okay, what are the basic basics? What are the bare minimum, the few things that I really need because, you know, at this point in my life, I have like 75 paint brushes and four paint palettes, or I mean, mediums and all the paint, you know, like there's so many different, like you just don't need all that stuff. So I went back to the bare bones and talked about each individual thing in a very simple, easy, meaningful way. P.S. If you use my Dick Blick art materials links to buy any of your materials, it really helps support my channel and that would be awesome. So thank you. Just um, look around. <laughs> Hello, yes, I know, I love you too. <laughs> and I will have links to everything. Um, the other one, oh my gosh, I just did this a couple weeks ago, painting melanin rich skin tones. Now I know that there are a lot of tutorials out there on skin tones, but for mine, I wanted to show you how you could kind of create it using the paints that you already have at your house. Now I like to have a full palette, but I talk more about sort of my methodology more than like exact, formulas and that way you can kind of figure it out for yourself with the paints you have at home. So that one was actually a remake of a video, one of my earliest videos from about a year, year and a half ago that was whew, quite rough. Yes, mm, my goodness that's a rough one, but it's been one of my most popular ones so I wanted to remake it and give you guys that updated information. Um, oh, the other thing, speaking of oil painting, if you guys haven't seen my um, three-dimensional oil paintings that I've been creating, then by all means, please check those out. Um, Shapeshifter and In the Beginning um, are both paintings. I've painted on oil on linen and then I'm using clear acrylic resin to do layering on top of them. I'm adding three-dimensional elements, including other paintings and found objects, um, seashells. Um, I got a like dead lizard in one of mine. I got like all kinds of stuff. So anyways, they're really fun and interesting. Um, and last but not least, this one I made actually earlier this year, but it is that time of year, right? Okay. It's out with the old, in with the new. That's what the season's all about. And if you, oh, I know you don't want to hear these words. If you do not have a good artist statement written, then please, please grab a little snack, have yourself a seat in a comfortable spot, and check out my video on artist statements. It's kind of a long one. I think it's the longest one I've made. It's like almost 30 minutes, but trust me, it is going to break down writing an artist statement step by step. So easy. It gives you all the motivation. You know me, I'm a spaz, so I'm going like this the whole time being like, you gotta do this and then people will love your art. But it's true, I'm serious. That video is probably one of the most jam packed full of good information that I have. And nobody likes writing an artist statement except for me now really honestly i kind of look forward to it it's kind of weird but i do like little statements for each of my paintings now and i know that sounds crazy but honestly like once you realize that you can get excited about your art and get other people excited about your art and tell a story it's great so out with the old and with the new if you don't have an artist statement you absolutely need one 
If you um, have an old statement that you haven't looked at in six months or a year or two years or five years or where is that? Is that even on my website? Yeah, those are not the answers you want. You need to watch this video. Okay, I want you to do the very best in 2019 and be able to discuss your artwork. It's only going to help you see what you want and attain what you want and maintain the flow of the processes that you want to create. If that makes sense. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Mwah. Click around for links and I will link for everything. And yeah, enjoy your holidays. I'll see you in 2019. Bye.